This is Africa for you, huh? It's a maze. What's the sign? It's that way, I think. <laughs> Could be this way, but I think we should just go back. Are we lost? We are in Marrakesh. Word up. We're a bit tired. We haven't slept last night because our plane ride was at five in the morning. So this is a big mosque called Kotubia. I think it's like the biggest mosque in, in Marrakesh. And uh, it's just in front of the um, Jamal Fanar. That's how it's kind of written. And whether you say Kotubia like that, I, I don't know. So there are some um, speakers inside of it. And at some point we're going to hear some prayers, which is going to be awesome. Ah, oh, that was really cool. This is our first tattoo. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's called chicken. And this one, this is oh, no, no, no. similar to the Peruvian ones, I guess. Please don't give me diarrhea. <laughs> Being in Marrakesh was like if we had taken a time machine to the past. There were even snake charmers, which was pretty awesome. Bloody hell, Steve, you had some snake action happening over there. I was shooting at you and then I almost tripped on a cobra. <laughs> really? Yeah. Ever right, right, ever ready rhymes. Turn off the terror light, mind your night and find merry times. Ignite cherry headlights for sweet sights and heavy eyes. Wise cracks and wise guys and nice vibes. Necessary clouds. I don't know what the sardines are, I thought they were fish. So this is the Cass Bar. We're looking for a bar, we're looking for a place to have a beer or two. Uh, we found one place which is super expensive, but I think we're going to head back into the Medina because we're in the way. <laughs> So we went back to the main square for our dinner. The food was great, but be prepared to navigate your way through the swarm of food vendors offering their menus, who hardly accept a no for an answer. After three days in Marrakesh, we took the train to Fez. It was supposed to be an eight hour ride, but it ended up being 11. It's hot, it's slow. We're going to go and find our next hotel. It's that way, I think. <laughs> yeah, so far the Medina in uh, Fez has been, well, I think more of a maze than Marrakesh. It's kind of cool though, it's nice. Uh, different. Marrakesh was very like orange and with the big suits and that. This is more confined. Let's go exploring, get ourselves lost. nice square and it's been good so far it's been a bit overwhelming to be honest just because all the streets are quite narrow so you have to deal with horses and donkeys and people with wheelbarrows and they come all over the place and then there's so many people who want to offer you different stuff but anyway, it's like it's crazy what's happening here well this is our um, fancy riyadh we bought two nights awesome room for our wedding anniversary. It's the junior suite. We got our own little terrace. That's me there. Hey, private bathroom, yeah. That's me again. So yeah, we're living the life of luxury at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Won't two, last for very For two long nights though. only. <laughs> and then we're back to the hostels. If you go round and up, there's like a sun beds up there and that's so you can lie in the sun if you want. <laughs> what do you reckon? Wow, it's pretty good. Doesn't smell too bad. I thought it was going to smell 
hideous because they give you this like mint stuff. What's your mint stuff? Smelly at places. I put it in my pocket. <laughs> I don't know what to do with it. Ancient armor of the uh, Afrique du Nord. It's all in uh, French, so I have no idea what it says. We are in this museum, which is the weapons museum. It's quite cool. Now we have a great view of the whole Fes Medina, which is trapped in these walls. It's a marvelous city. And I love all these satellite dishes. How so cute. We walked so much today. It's really pretty here. There's a cemetery there and it's quite peaceful and it's a really nice view. From first, we took a day trip to the historic city of Mula Idris and the Roman ruins of Olubilis. Mula Idris is regarded by many as the founder of Morocco. He was a direct ancestor of the Prophet Muhammad and his mausoleum is here at the town which was named after him. We're heading to the panoramic view. So we managed to find our way to the Grand Terrace which is a great view of the city of Moulay Idris. It's a pilgrimage site for Muslims. Six visits to here is worth one visit to Mecca. We took a taxi from Moulay Idris to Bolibilis. It takes less than 10 minutes. You can go by foot, but it takes about an hour and it was super hot that day. This is the house of Orpheus. I don't know who that was. That is the guy who played music. Is it? Yeah. Oh. Also mosaics down there and hats of Orpheus and we've got like the swimming pools and baths and stuff and like had a place for fish to swim. It's really big, like it goes till over there. This place is great. Ten dirhams to get in as well. We're in Chip Chowen. Hello. Hello. I like Chip Chowen. It's really nice and really cute and People here are a lot more relaxed as well, which is nice. It's less hassling for sure. I just wish we could get up a little bit earlier so we don't have to walk like through midday. Not quite smart, but what can you do? Yo, is that it? Not far. <laughs> Nearly there. Breezy up here, which is yeah, nice. Funny. Takes the edge off a bit. Pretty rad, oh. huh? You reckon? Yeah, it's you. great. I think we took the most training spot because guess what we found? Oh, are those the steps? I think they are it's the steps. the same. <laughs> you still got to climb up. Ready? Movie! <laughs> no idea where we're going. Yeah, I really like Chef Chow, it's very peaceful. I think the blue colour helps. Um, than what we've been experiencing in Fez and Marrakesh. So yeah, it's been a little bit of a respite for us, I suppose, on this trip. Because uh, I think it's going to get back to chaos tomorrow when we go to um, Tangier. So, uh, maybe, I don't know.
obviously. <coughs> We're at the beach in Tangier and it's, uh, there's not many people on. There's a couple of camels on there. It's still morning at the moment. We just had our breakfast, which is nice. And uh, yeah, it's all gonna be good, I feel. Free, which is good because it's the day of the museums. It's a dead end. The year feels like a fusion of Arabic and Spanish culture. Many of the buildings, like theatres and cinemas, have Spanish names. There's lots of street art and modern restaurants. It felt very different to what we had seen so far which was a nice surprise. These cakes are better than the ones we had in Toulouse, which is saying something because the ones in Toulouse are pretty damn good. Look at that. It's like nuts and like some gooey, sweet, yummy food. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure? You're enjoying it too much. You're taking away from me. Okay, so the weird thing about this bathroom is that you have a bee day, but no bog. Another thing I've noticed on this trip so far is that when we stay in the hostel or in a hotel, it always seems to be pretty much next door to the mosque, usually around one o'clock, two o'clock in the morning. There's like a massive call to prayer, and <laughs> it's super loud. As I'm saying all this whilst pointing the camera at the B-Day. Destination London, can we please proceed to the boarding gate number two, boarding room. Thank you. 